Hello, it's Markus from the 3D Racing Garage here and today I can show you some new parts for the Volvo F88 project. The parts are the exhaust system and the diesel fuel tank with a proper holder. And uh, I want to show you the parts in detail in a minute. And as always, you'll find the links to my Thingiverse page uh, down below this video. So let's start with the exhaust system. The exhaust system contains the following parts. Um, hollow exhaust pipe. and a, a muffler with uh, two parts that you have glued to together and um, a pipe which uh, is glued in the muffler to simulate uh, the pipe going to the engine if you want uh, you can glue two pipes together to make it a little bit longer. And uh, then we have an exhaust pipe holder, which I show you in a minute, and I recommend to print this exhaust pipe holder with a flexible material, as always, uh, like Ninja Flex or something else. So as you can see here, I designed a, a mounting plate like a, um, on the opposite side with the air pressure tanks and um, the tank holders are only mounted with screws on this mounting plate with uh, short screws of course and the uh, mounting plate itself is mounted to the frame with uh, these three screws and um, the muffler is mounted uh, to the frame with this screw which also is one of the three screws from the mounting plate and is screwed on the frame on the inside as you can see here as I mentioned before the muffler contains of two parts the bigger part and the shorter part and uh, as you can see here I designed uh, a little nose on, two, on the two parts so that you can glue the parts uh, together that it aligns perfect uh, to mount them on the frame. So you can see that uh, the exhaust pipe um, you have to glue inside the muffler here. Here you can see the exhaust pipe holder from the outside with the Volvo V in it and you can also see the exhaust pipe it's hollow and um, some I give you some advice how to print the parts in a moment so the bigger part of the muffler you can print standing up like this and the smaller part um, you can print showing uh, the outside part, part uh, on top so you, could, you can also print it without support because the inside is uh, uh, shaped in, in 45 degrees so it print fine without support and the hollow exhaust pipe you should print standing up 
for this uh, print direction you need a little bit support but not much and it prints fine and totally hollow. And by the way I can show you uh, a nice gimmick. I have designed this Volvo F88 coaster so if you want to drink a cold beer or coke now you have the, the cool coaster in in the design of our truck so this is a little add-on if you want so you can find the link to the Thingiverse files also down in the information box okay now let, let's have a look uh, to the fuel tank and the holder for the holder there are two different parts, uh, one outside part which you need for the outside holders and, and the middle part which has a, a little cut out for this uh, mounting screw of the mounting plate. And you need 12 inside parts which are glued inside between the outdoor and the middle holders. For the fuel tank itself, we have three straps, if you want so, which are um, which you can slide over the fuel tank. Uh, of course, when you paint the fuel tank, then perhaps you have to print these fuel tank straps a little bit bigger, so you have to um, scale it up a little bit in the slicer. Um, as a lock for the fuel tank you can use the, the coolant seal lock from the front of the truck and uh, it also fits here and it looks very cool. The fuel tank itself is hollow, so you can put electronics in it. So as you can see here, uh, it's press fit, so you don't need to glue it together. It should, uh, easy. It should fit easy on it with press fit. And on the bottom, you have a hole in it to for your cables and so on. So I would recommend that um, you glue the tank, the tank straps on the tank holder. So and. Uh, as a little add-on, I designed a, a second fuel tank, and um, this fuel tank is also hollow, but um, the opening is uh, not on the side, uh, but um, horizontal. I'll show it to you. So from the outside, it looks like the other tank, but. Uh, tank is cut it here and not here and when you look from the bottom of the tank it has some holes in it so what could it be and on the back it has a kind of a muffler going out of the tank so let's have a look inside Yeah, it's a speaker box for your truck, so you can hide your speaker for your sound system in the tank and uh, you don't have to put it in the cab. And um, my guess was uh, the sound will 
coming out of the bottom of the tank and maybe will reflect it from the surface of the street. Perhaps this is a good effect, I don't know. And with this muffler you can connect your sound box to the exhaust system. So in theory uh, there will be coming out of the exhaust uh, engine sound. And uh, I never heard this before. Um, of course perhaps you could also uh, put in a smoke unit, but I don't know uh, if this uh, if the plastic would resist. But uh, that could be another uh, idea. Because I designed the whole exhaust system hollow, you can use it for smoke or sound. The speaker for the sound tank um, is by Visatone. As you can see here, the part number 8048. It's 8 ohms. And uh, I bought this speaker here in Germany from um, a railroad uh, modular shop. This speaker is sold by ESU and um, this is a railroad uh, electronics manufacturer and this speaker is sold for the garden trains like AGB so you can you can see the part number by ESU and um, yes but I guess this Visatone speaker you can find also in different shops directly sold uh, as Visatone but um, otherwise you can look for this ESU speaker so um, I guess these were, were the last parts or, or last big parts for the truck and uh, now I will begin to build up my truck by myself uh, painting the parts and um, putting the electronics in it and uh, radio control stuff and so on and um, yeah so if you have some other ideas um, of parts that you are missing for this truck, uh, write it down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I wish you lots of fun building your truck and uh, I'm waiting to see your results. So until next time, see you.